Welcome to de dealing with materials data. We are looking at the collection analysis and interpretation of data from material science and engineering. This is the fifth module on fitting and graphical handling and uh, let us just summarize what is it that we have learnt. Uh, fitting and graphical handling are very important skills. So, even if you are not going to do any statistical analysis on your data, typically you are expected to uh, fit the data or calculate averages or give error bars and plot them for easy understanding of other people. So, fitting and uh, graphical handling skills are very important and they are very useful. And uh, we have seen several uh, ways of uh, um, plotting the data and uh, hence analyzing it uh, in the beginning as well as in this exercise. And uh, we have also seen in this module how to do fitting for different functional forms. And uh, from fitting uh, there are other things that are important which naturally flow uh, that is ANOVA design of experiments and hypothesis testing and so on. And we will do some case studies to fix some of these ideas and some of it we have already done ANOVA for example, we have seen one example and hypothesis testing is something that we have been doing on and off. Uh, so, we will continue with that and in the case study part uh, we will uh, look at those aspects. And uh, the final module will be the case studies and in addition to DOE and hypothesis testing we will also look at uh, Bayesian analysis, uh, calibration and uh, such other uh, problems or error analysis. Um, so, those are also things that we will discuss in the uh, case studies. Uh, one more thing that is very important that you might have realized uh, in our uh, study so far is that uh, for doing the data analysis it is very important to have reliable and useful data sets and uh, which are in the raw format so that you can actually take it up and do further analysis. Uh, like for example, the NIST monograph it not only lists all the numbers it also does the analysis and gives you the numbers. So, you can take the data and you can for yourself confirm that the numbers are okay for example. So, this is very important uh, um, mainly as a pedagogical tool for us also as a research tool because once a raw data is available. Uh, different uh, people can do different types of analysis and uh, try to see if there is more information that one can get from the data. So, it is very important to have uh, such curated data sets. Uh, we hope that after going through this course you will generate such data and you will also make it available um, for everybody and uh, there are ways of uh, um, curating the data sets and uh, keeping it online for others use. Uh, so, one of the purposes of this course is also to put uh, the data that we have used in this course so far uh, to be in the public domain and to make it available to all of you. Several PhD students have contributed to the data. Uh, so, we will share the complete data sets that we have used and what we are going to use in the uh, case studies. Uh, wherever it is available in the literature we will point to the literature and uh, wherever uh, we have used our own data set we will also have these data sets uh, be available to you. So, this brings us to the end of the fitting and uh, graphical handling module. So, we will uh, do the final mod module on case studies uh, in the next session to come. Thank you.